Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang and I want to share my test and experience using this Onyx Impact Resin. Before I show the test, I want to share my experience with this resin here. Now, this is the uncured resin. It is very soft, almost like a flexible resin. But after curing, it is it is become stiffer and not that soft or flex anymore but still has quite some flex here now because of the soft properties before curing when printing minis like this i could use the usual support tip that i use around 0.4 millimeters to 0.2 millimeter size but when printing a larger object I start to having issue this print here I am using the same settings that as my usual support and it fails so badly so I use a bigger support tip here it almost success but it seems that my Printer screen is dying and it creates such a hole here and here so I decide to reprint again and I have the successful print over here. And the most interesting about this resin is for 50 micron layer height or 0.05 millimeters it takes 25 seconds per layer. Yes, you heard me right. 25 seconds per layer height. So I'm completely amazed by the print result on normal layers. 25 seconds could still keep quite a nice details because if you if you use a standard resin and you give 25 seconds exposure all you will have is just a blob of mess and I successfully print this hammer with all the support tip size I raised to 0.6 millimeters and the smallest that I could use is 0.3 millimeters I spread around here but somehow I got lucky when I print this minis here it survived with only 0.4 mm support tip at the anchor below under the foot here and I spread around 0.3 and 0.2 mm like this. I use the same support size to print this mini here. So maybe when you are just to print minis you could successfully print with small support tip but the moment you print something bigger because the resin is very thick you need a bigger support tip size to combat the suction force for the bending test this is one millimeter this is at two millimeter This is at 3 millimeter. Four millimeters. And five millimeters. Let's give it some extra. Now this is very amazing. And now for the drop test.
Nope, it just won't break on the drop test. Let's try with this minis. Yep, nothing breaks. Well, because on the drop test, it will not break at all. So let's take it to the extreme. Let's have a close-up look on this minis here to see the details. On Onyx Impact Resin, I could see very well the facial details and the same with Red Clay Resin. But on some edges, like over here, it is, it has a softer details compared to a very sharp details on Red Clay Resin. But this is a very amazing details considering the the normal layer exposure is 25 seconds and for this bust statue here all the facial details the wrinkles are captured very nice yeah i'm very amazed with this resin because of the 25 seconds exposure let's see if i'm worthy or not <laughs> okay, now let's look at this Thor hammer here. Uh, the details is very nice, but it is too bad because my screen is dying and it produced hole here and there. So I saw the promotional promotional video for this Onyx Impact resin where they use uh, the same kind of. Sorry, I mean they print a hammer and they use it to hammer in the nails. So I did the same with this hammer here. And it is quite amazing considering we only have some scratch here after hammer in the nails. Yes, I know I'm not successfully hammer the nail all the way in because yeah, because of the short handle my hand keeps hitting the board. This area here originally has holes because of my screen is dying, so I cover it with the same resin and I try to sanding it and it took me a lot of effort and I'm nowhere near have a smooth surface so when I touched the surface of this print I could feel it it almost like an a rubbery surface so maybe that's why it is quite difficult to sand smooth this part here but uh, let me try again Now, the surface is much better compared to before, but yeah, definitely it takes quite more effort to sand the surface. So this is not sanding friendly resin, but at least it is doable if I take more time and effort to smooth the surface. Now, let's try to rub these two pieces together. it creates some white residue so okay it has some white residue but so it seems that it will not survive frictions for like ball joints but i don't think the residue from the friction is as much as the usual standard resin so probably it's still fair better in friction compared to standard resin. 
because sometimes I could feel it just glide very smooth. Now let's do the heat test. Nope, nope. <laughs> it becomes very soft and almost like rubber feel here. Let's try to bring it back to the original shape. And it's straight again. Okay, it seems that it could hold the shape very well. Now let's check the dimension with this 20 millimeter square. 20.73 20.75 hmm okay for this 25 second exposure for normal layers it it doesn't suffer a very bad oversize only slightly more than 20 millimeters so this is a very acceptable for me onyx impact resin it's definitely the strongest resin that I tested so far because it can survive hammering a nail without breaking but the downside for me is the print time if you check the default settings in the website for rest time alone it needs like 8 seconds because the resin is very thick and the safest rest time that I use on my test is at 4 seconds, but I still suffer quite some blooming around the bottom layers here, but this is acceptable uh, as long as the rest of the object is printed nice without any blooming effect. About print time, let's say if I were to print this hammer, with frozen aqua gray 8k resin it may only takes me like four to six hours compare uh, i mean depends on the layer height but for onyx impact resin to print this hammer it takes me 26 hours yes two six hours 26 hours <laughs> to print this hammer and this is like 10 centimeters tall and yes it takes me 26 hours to print this Thor hammer if you like what you are watching so far kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video and if you want to support my channel directly you could check my pattern link in video description i have monthly released 3d printable model now so that is all my test for this onyx impact resin let me know what you think about your resin in the comment section and see you guys in the next video. Hmm, I just realized I have some bad print lines here. Maybe, maybe I could raise again the normal exposure from 25 to maybe like 28 or 30 seconds exposure oh my god it, may, it will end up like 30 hours print just to print this hammer